going, yeah. man. But we know we do got a preseason, man. The season open with the Saints. But the preseason, man. Uh, August home. 9th. Hey, man, right. In Jacksonville, man. Uh, Duval. If y'all already know what time it is. So we actually going to go and do a breakdown, man, for y'all of uh, the schedule. We're going to mm-hmm. give y'all win losses, man. We're going to give y'all some reasons why we think mm-hmm. uh, exactly what it's down, man. So we're going to go ahead and just dive right into it, man. Week one. Week one. Against the Giants, man. What's your thoughts on that? Win, loss, and any key reasons why? Well, let's say week one versus the Giants. Obviously, we got Tom Coughlin, his first game back in MetLife Stadium. Uh, Looking to make a statement? Being, uh, yeah, being the Jaguars VP. So, um, it's definitely going to be an emotional game from that standpoint. Uh, we're obviously going to be opening the season on the road. We did the same thing last year. Obviously, we won last year. And if you think about it, last year, all the emotions with the hurricane and Hurricane Harvey and Jackson would have to deal with Hurricane Irma. It was a lot of things going on during that time. So, obviously, look at this game. We're coming off a good season. Week one, I say we beat the Giants. You know, obviously, the Giants had a disappointing season last year. But I just think uh, with Jacksonville, the way we played defense last year and the way Eli Manning has a tendency to turn the ball over, he'll never lose that attribute in his game. So, I feel like we'll uh, dominate the game defensively. I think uh, Eli Manning, man, when it comes to – Playing the Jaguar defense, man, we're more of a blitz-heavy pass rushers that can get to the quarterback. I obviously got corners who can actually, um, mm-hmm. you know, be physical with the receivers. So Speaking honestly, of man, and receivers. I the Ramsey Odell Beckham matchup, man. That's all, about that about. Matchup. That's all I'm thinking about, man, for this matchup. <laughs> so honestly, man, I think just due to Saquon Barkley and the Giants getting kind of off, off a slow start, I think Jaguars take this one, man. So the Jaguars take it. Yeah. So you don't, think, you don't think the Giants? Have- Come out a little disrespected after you know Jalen Ramsey comments. No. Really like to run his mouth. No, no. <laughs> All right, so week two, man, we head into the uh, revenge game, man. The That's Patriots right. at home, man. What's your what's your take on that? Okay, week two. This is where I have us losing. Actually, uh, this will be a home opener uh, to New England, and uh, pretty much, obviously, we all know the story. We lost to New England in the AFC Championship game last year. Um, I just think, hey, you got to prove it. You got to prove you can beat these boys. And until I see it on the field, even being a Jaguar fan, diehard fan that I am, I still have to be realistic. And just realistically, looking at that game last year, Jaguars are still haven't proven to me that they can finish games versus elite teams. So because of that, I say we lose to New England at home. What do you think? I say we win. Now, okay. Tom Brady hasn't lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars in his entire career. Nope. He's currently eight and no. <laughs> That's another reason why, too. Hey, man, these not the old Jaguars. So, I think that He's they they have, I, I don't they, think so either. they know they're the better team. You remember Tom? Yes. After the AFC Championship game, man, I think we know we're the better team. Mm-hmm. They have no offensive weapons. If you remember Julius uh, Edelman, or Julian Edelman, I'm sorry, He's suspended. suspended four games, yeah. I mean, if we can contain Gronk, I think we win this game and then go 2-0. So, okay. that's me personally. So, so you got them 2-0. I, I got do. Them one and one. Gotcha. Week week three, week man. Three. The Titans at home. Who you got? Titans at home. I got that as a win. Uh, we bounced back from the loss to New England. Uh, you said we played it. We're at home, right? We're yeah, home. yeah, yeah we're, we're at home. home. So, yeah, this will be the first of two games versus Titans. I say we win that game. Last year, we played Titans week two at home. Uh, we didn't look too good coming off the road, but I think this year, uh, like I said, I think Marcus Mariota just a little bit overrated. I think our defense will uh, get out on them early, and we take a division lead early in the season. Same so. thing. I think we are uh, we was 0-2 in the season series last year. Fairly yeah. dominated, too. Yeah, so we were dominated. I think, uh, so. I think the Jaguars will come out and make a statement, That'll be a man. Big game, man. I think they'll make a statement and actually start playing the league on notice when, yeah. we, when we 3-0. and So you think 3-0? and 3-0. and So here we go to Jets. Jets come to Jacksonville, man. What you think about that? Jets. Last year we lost at the Jets. This year I think we get our revenge. We beat them at home. So. Okay. I don't think. I think it's a win too. I don't think the game should be close, but I think it will. Yeah, I think. I think this really? game. Will, I think the game would kind of show huh? if the Jaguars are really consistent. You know, because this is, it's a mediocre team coming to your house that you should beat. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like we just have some growing pains at the beginning of the season. Yeah. But I do think we start off four and zero. So they got them four and zero. I got them three. Week five. Week five. Chiefs. At Kansas City, what you got? At Kansas City, this is where I have the Jaguars losing for a second time in the season. So we're now 3-2. and two. Uh, This is Chiefs. We struggle to play the Chiefs at uh, at Kansas City. We've always had historic, historically. I think the last we've lost there the last three times that I can think of. So um, honestly and truthfully, uh, these are just one of those games where it's just a tough road game to win. Like I said, and I, mean, besides, uh, I think the offense is struggling. Besides Seattle, I think Arrowhead Stadium is probably the hardest stadium yeah, to play in. Um, yeah. We actually will have 
three weeks at home before we play our first road game, and it has to be Arrowhead. Mm-hmm. Now, the only reason I, ooh, I wanted to say this was going to be a win just due to Patrick Mahomes. I do not trust him, and I think the Jaguars. I thought about that. I don't think they'll be season. really able to, yeah. you know, hone on it. And I think our defense will keep us in every single game. But I'm with you. I think we get our first loss at Kansas City Week Five. So okay, so um, okay, got to first okay. loss, first loss. So here we go. Week six, man, Dallas at Dallas. What you got? Okay. Well, okay, I got them three and two on the season so far at Dallas. I say we win at Jerry World. Uh, definitely going to be a big game. Uh, out, you know, we're going to be playing Allen Hearns. Obviously, he's at the Cowboys now. And then Barry Church, you know, playing the Cowboys again. So, uh, I think all in all, we'll win that game. Uh, I think we might blow them out, actually. Really? Now, yeah. If you the Jaguars are actually 17th against the rush last year uh, on the road, opposing running backs actually ran about 107 yards rushing. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, Ezekiel Elliott will get his, but I don't think Dak will be able to really throw on, on his the defense. defense yeah. So uh, I actually got the Jaguars winning this game fairly close, though. I don't think they're going to blow it, like you say, but five and one as they go into week seven mm-hmm. against Houston. And Houston is at home. What, what do you think about that game? Uh, let's see. I think I had. I had them winning that game. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be a first game versus Houston. This yeah, I, they swept we'll the series really last get, year. So huh? I, they swept the series last yeah, year. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I expect that. To we swept them last year, but it, it wasn't, you know, I guess most people from the outside looking at it will say they didn't have Deshaun Watson. So it'll be the Jaguars' first chance to really get to see him in a full game starting. So, you know, that'll be a good storyline. But And then, obviously, Jalen Ramsey always has good matchups with Hopkins. Absolutely. So I think that'll be like a high scoring game, but I think we'll pull a pull out with the victory. Gotcha. Okay, okay. We got uh, our landing game, man. You're the Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles, man. What's your, what's your take on that one? You said in London, I think we'll win that game. Uh, obviously, to defend the Super Bowl champs, uh, but we always do good in London. Always. And I, I ain't going to say that's the only reason why we're going to win. I do think we're more talented than the Philadelphia Eagles. Really? And then Carson Wentz, I think he's actually going to struggle next year. Actually. Oh, okay. I think he's got a lot of hype coming in, a lot of expectations. He did good last year, but the ACL is going to be hard to come back from that. Uh, if we played them in the first month of the season, I would concur. But the fact that I feel like it's going to be about week eight, I think it'll be about a month or two into it. I think he'll have his footing. Uh, we're actually 3-0 and in the last three games that we played in London. But our last loss was against Dallas back in 2014. I think we lose in London and fall to 6-2. and two. Week 9 is actually a bye week, so we jump to week 10 against Indy at Indy. Coming off a of bye week, what you got? Uh, let's see. I actually have, have us losing. Um, let's see. We go into the bye week at 6-2, and two, according to me. So, same for you, too. But um, we'll be 6-2, and two, and I just think we're just going to, you know, lay an egg. Uh, it'll be our first game versus Andrew Luck in a long time. I think part of that might have to some have something to do with it. You know, we might be running away with the division at this point. Maybe uh, at being six and two, maybe they might be three and three or four, whatever the record is. But I so think they'd be hungrier than us. Yeah, basically. I think at this point they might be trying to make a little push for the division. So I say we lose and fall to six and three. What do you think? No, I think we actually come off about week and um, due to the loss to Philadelphia, I think we come out and we get this win uh, against them and improve to seven and two. Uh, week eleven, man, with every Jaguar fan's been. Circling the calendar for man, week eleven Pittsburgh in Jacksonville, <laughs> prime time. You already know, man. What's your take on that? Who you got? Um, well, this for me, this is the game of the year. Honestly, we own Pittsburgh the past couple times. Let me just say this. Sunday I'm sorry, let me cut game. you off. Let me say this. Uh-huh. I feel like when the Jaguars or seven and two mm-hmm. meet the Steelers, both of them will have the best record in the AFC. Think so? And this, I think, this game will prove who's the number one seed in the playoffs. Okay. So go um, ahead. after that, go ahead. Uh, wow, all that pressure. Um. <laughs> I think after all that, I think we're gonna win the game. Um, we're at home. It's Sunday night. I mean, what else? What else? What else do you need? Man? How, I think just because we're a young team, man, we play just like off emotion. And mm-hmm. I feel like, man, last year the Steelers was actually thirteen and two against the rest of the league and zero and two against the Jaguars. Yeah, they was they was dominating. So the rest I feel of the like we are cri- we they we are their kryptonite. The Jaguars, mm-hmm. I think they'll pull this game out and they're improving to eight and two going into Buffalo. Buffalo. So, Buffalo, Buffalo Week 12, man, at Buffalo. What's your thing? This is the game I actually struggle with. Now, I know Buffalo, I think they're not going to have a good season next year, but these are one of those trap games where if we come off a big win versus Pittsburgh, I think we could possibly lose this game. It's going to be cold up there. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just, this game kind of reminds me of the Cleveland game last year. Like, Cleveland had a lot of talent. I thought they were a lot better than their, their record, obviously, 0-16. But – Buffalo is one of those scary teams where if you're not careful and you're not, you're not really on the P's and Q's, they can beat you. And so. if you remember that game, it took but, us um, until the fourth quarter and yeah. finished them. It was the chance we could have possibly uh, lose that game, whether for a Gawkway strip. 
you know, sack. So, but I still have Buffalo. I still have just winning that game. Uh, at that point, we'll be eight and three. I wish I think? could show. You, I wish I could show you my notes, man. My notes say could potentially see this as a trap game. <laughs> the same thing, right? But Jab, but the Jaguars' playoff experience pushing them to victory. I have I'm them nine you. and two. So oh, okay, I think good. it's a trap. I think it's a trap game too, man. Ornette I think it's hates, one of those games. Or Ned hates the cold. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, we, we and have then, seven teams. If you think about it too, just even going back to the Buffalo game, they're going to be looking for their revenge too. Exactly, exactly. So, so I think a uh, week thirteen, think man. The Colts. Though. Who you got? Uh, let's see the Colts. Um, I said, I think I had this. yeah, I think I had this as a win. Uh, obviously, the Colts we lost the first time, uh, according to B, who we'll, we'll lose them the first time. So, I just think we bounced back and beat them the second time. Okay, I think um, we sweep the series the second year in a row. Them. Who do you think we second year, year in a row? So, I think uh, 10 and 2 going into uh, two. Tennessee against the Titans, week 14. What you got? Okay, uh, I got this at 9 and 3 so far at Tennessee. I think I had them losing this game week 14. Yeah, week 14. yeah, this Thursday night game versus Tennessee. I haven't lost this game only because uh, the Titans swept us last year. Now, according to my schedule, we do get a win early in the year, but I just feel like the Titans, uh, this is going to be uh, week 14, late in the season, divisions on the line. Not to say that we're not clutch. I'm not saying that, but uh, I do have a slipping up a little bit here, so I have us at 9-4. and four. What do you think? Same thing. I, I, I concur with that. Um, I think we lose to the Titans, fall 10-3. 10-3. So okay. it's the Redskins. What you got? Washington, I have us winning that game. Winning? Uh, okay. Just because, you know, like I said, late in the season, right? Uh, it's time for us to get a win. We just, we gonna, we're going to bounce back from a loss to add Tennessee. Washington's not really up to our level as far as talent, in my opinion. Not at all. Not what at all. Um, yeah, I'm the same way. I win. think um, offensive, offensively, I think we'll actually be able to run the ball on them. Um, you know, as long as everybody stay healthy, I got them winning uh, at Jacksonville. So, 11-3, and three, going into week 16 in Miami. I guess the Dolphins, what you got? In Miami, hopefully I plan on going to this game. Uh, me and you probably can slide in that game. Yeah. Um, it'll be still in Florida. Still feel like we should win this game. Um, you know, late in the season, you never know how, how things fall. How you know what, what, what we had. I think finish. this. I think this game. Yeah, it's kind of predicated on. Yeah, uh, but I think know, I think seeding. even last year we we still had the division clinching. We were still playing our full guys, so oh, yeah. we might be going playing for number one seed at this point. Absolutely. But so having saying all that, if we're gonna be playing for number one seed and things on the line, I feel like we're gonna win this game. I have us winning this game. So absolutely, I'm a saying blowout actually. Yeah, me too. I think, I think so. Too. I think it's a bit easy win. I think we're proving twelve to twelve and three. 12 and and three. then last uh, last week of the season, man, week seventeen against Houston. What you got? Mm-hmm. I got them eleven and four. Um, last week versus Houston at Houston, I feel like Houston at this point, um, they'll probably be battling for like number two in the division or even possibly number one if other teams lose and this like that, things like that. So I feel like um, this is like a must-win game, last game of the season. I say we pull it out, we win the division. In the last game of the season, we'll be 12 and 4. Houston to fall to 11 and 5, and we end up winning the division. Okay, well, I, I have us going 12 and 3 going into Houston. I think we actually drop that game and lose it. So I think I have us going okay. 12 and 4 as well. You think we'll win the division? Still? I think we'll win the division still at 12 and 4. I don't think we'll get the number one seed, though, but I do think we get a bye going to the playoffs. So I think we'll be the one or two seed. I'm not sure which one, though. Okay, um, so you say 12 and okay, 4. So you say 12 and 4 and. They won't get a. They will one. get a buy. They will, they will get, get a, a buy, buy, but not number one seed. Exactly, and I think Pittsburgh. So may number get two that. seed, number two seed, basically one or two, one, one or two. two. And I think as far as the AFC South is concerned, I have Jacksonville one, Houston two, Titans three, Colts four. So okay. that's my ranking as far as the said Titans two, Titans three. I have Houston Titans two, three. Houston two. Okay. Houston two. Yeah, I feel like um yeah we'll finish. I said have at the same record, twelve and four. Obviously, I have this winning the Super Bowl. Um, but I actually have us um, having the number one seed. Oh, really? Yeah, number one seed. I feel at like, twelve and four. Yeah, at twelve and four because I feel like the Patriots. Um, honestly, I feel like the Patriots aren't really as talented. As Not years, at all. As Not at all. Before. I think they take a step back. And then, honestly. and then Pittsburgh. Um, just the same way. I think. I think we. They might finish with the same record as us, but we'll have a tiebreaker win over them. You okay. Know what I'm saying. No, I got so, you. Uh, I think 12-4, you know, number one seed, we'll win the division, and we'll win the Super Bowl. So, eh. that's my early rough prediction. Rough so. prediction. Okay, wait. Well, so. that's, that's hey, yeah, as long as injuries and nutrition and everything comes through. So, but, you know, hey, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, yeah. Man. I just think, man, this team's on a mission, man. Hope just, is a strong aphrodisiac. Very strong, <laughs> very strong. This ain't hope, hope, man. This is, this is my analysis, man. <laughs>